Dodge Truck presents 1972 Dodge and Ford Light Duty Trucks coming to you by way of The Tomorrow Show starring Johnny Parson and here's Johnny! Good evening. Good evening. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Our first guest is Sam Potter, the singing salesman we've been hearing so much about lately. Let's give Sam a big welcome. Uh, Sam, may I call you Sam, Mr. Potter? Well, Sam, what brings you to our town? Lots of things. First off, there's the guest fee you promised me. And then I've got a hot lead on a couple of Ford pickup owners. I'm going to change their tune so they'll buy a Dodge from me. Would you show us how it's done? Glad to. Who's double-walled? We're Ford single-walled. Dodge. Depend on it. Who's got the ride? More comfort inside. Dodge. Depend on it. Who keeps out the rust? The noise and the dust. Dodge. Depend on it. Got the idea, Johnny? Uh, may I call you Johnny, Mr. Parson? Uh, sure. But will you tell us a little more about Dodge Light Duty Trucks? My pleasure. I like to call Dodge the only all-new pickup for 1972. So does the advertising agency. But seriously, Dodge never has had pickups quite like this year's. And the way they've been improved over past models puts them way ahead of everybody, including Ford. In other words, they not only match competition, they beat them hands down. For instance, Dodge pickups this year have longer wheelbases. They match Ford's inch for inch. The doors are just as wide, and they have a two-stage check that allows for easier entry and exit in a variety of parking situations. Also, you're not as likely to damage paint and sheet metal on your truck or the vehicle parked next to it. Dodge also has a cargo light that's real handy for night loading and unloading cargo. Okay, but how come a 72 Dodge is a better pickup buy than Ford? Thought you'd never ask. Well, first of all, they're styling. Overall, Dodge is clean, uncluttered, right up to date. But Ford, for instance, has a coach joint at the front of the hood that chops up the styling and exposes a seam to rust and corrosion. Curved side glass on the cabs, another reason why the Dodge looks so great. Ford side glass is flat. As a matter of fact, Ford styling hardly changed at all from last year. Dodge has a new massive bumper and a durable horizontal bright metal grill. Ford's facelift grill is metal and plastic. And feast your eyes on the wraparound taillight that's on all Dodge swept line models. It's all one piece with a backup light and side reflector. The fore tail light, backup light, and side reflector are all separate. It looks like you clean Ford's clock and styling, all right. Yeah, and we outwipe their windshields, too. The Dodge wiper blades are longer, cover a bigger pattern for more visibility. Now, this contributes to safety. Go on, Sam. Go on. Uh, don't keep us in suspense. Suspense? <laughs> Johnny, that's the magic word when it comes to the Dodge pickup's great new ride. Dodge has a totally new front suspension system. Independent coil springs that are strut controlled. Absorbs road shock individually at both wheels for a comfortable, steady passenger car type ride. As good as Ford's? Sure it is. And the new Dodge front suspension system is less expensive to realign than Ford's independent twin eye beams. Mean, man, mean. No, not mean. Tough. Dodge builds tough trucks. Trucks with durable, double-wall construction. More than Ford has. Like the wheel housings. On Dodge, the wheel housings are fully double-walled front and rear. Ford's are single-walled. In Dodge rear wheel housings, there's a splash shield that stops snow, mud, and water from being thrown between the panels or into the taillight area. Ford doesn't have it. All around the box, Dodge has the advantage in full double-wall construction. Unlike Dodge, Ford side panels are double-walled only halfway up. There's also a horizontal coach joint on the exterior of the Ford side panels, and that can be a real rust collector. The Dodge tailgate is double-walled from top to bottom. A center third of the Ford tailgate is single-walled, 
but the really outstanding difference between the Dodge swept line and Ford style side pickups is that Dodge has an easy off tailgate that can be removed in nothing flat, including the straps. You have to use tools to remove the Ford tailgate. Hey, that easy off Dodge tailgate should be real popular with people who want to adapt their pickup to camper use. Uh, look at your notes, Johnny. That's my line. Sorry. If I may continue, Dodge pickups are tough on details, like the bolts that mount the box to the frame. They're out of sight, so there's less chance of rust and corrosion. The box floor on Ford is interrupted by several exposed mountain bolts. And like I always say, beauty, toughness, and convenience on the Dodge pickups is more than skin deep. You always say that? Morning, noon, and night. Like when you sit behind the wheel of a Dodge pickup, all the gauges on the instrument panel are easy to read, every control handy and simple to operate. They're all located directly in front of you. And it's easy as ABC to replace fuses on Dodge. All you do is open the glove box cover and you get straight on access to the fuse block. Ford's fuse block is underneath the instrument panel where it's a lot harder to get at. Then. There's comfort in the Dodge cab, as well as convenience. A narrower, rounded tunnel hump that gives both driver and passenger more effective footroom than Ford. A more comfortable driving position, too. That's because of the relationship of the seat height to the steering column angle. Dodge pickups equipped with automatic transmissions also have larger brake and accelerator pedals than Ford, making it easier for a driver to brake with either foot. It's also quiet inside the Dodge cab. The windshield wiper motor on Dodge, for instance, is located in the engine compartment, while the Ford wiper motor is inside the cab up under the dash. Behind the Dodge seat, there's a 25-gallon fuel tank that tops Ford by five and a half gallons, or slightly less, depending on models. All things being equal, this means fewer stops and more time on the road working when you own a Dodge pickup. Now, I'll step outside the Dodge cab and show you an important anti-theft feature Ford doesn't have. It's a keyless passenger door lock. I simply push down the door lock on the passenger side, and when I shut the door, it locks automatically. And here's something it's tough for me to figure out. Ford doesn't offer an optional factory-installed trailer towing package. Dodge does. And it includes the heavy-duty components like battery, alternator, shock absorbers, and so forth. Another Dodge option that's exclusive against all its competition is automatic speed control, a great convenience and safety item for long trips on expressway-type roads. Young lady, I hope you're prepared to offer an explanation for this interruption. Sam said he was going to take me camping at 10.30. That was half an hour ago, and it's already past my Betty buys. Sorry, Agatha, sweetie. Won't be a minute. Just let me explain to Johnny how Dodge beats Ford hands down on camper packages. You see, Johnny, Dodge has an exclusive for the camper market. A 7,500 and 9,000 pound package for the D200 and a 9,000 and 10,000 pound camper package for D300 trucks. Ford doesn't even come close. Sam, they're playing our song. Take it, baby. Who's double walled? We're Ford single walled. Dodge. Depend on it. Who's got the ride? More comfort inside. Dodge. Depend on it. Uh, let me give it a try, okay? Be our guest, Johnny. Who keeps out the rust, the noise and the dust? Dodge, depend on it. Too bad, Johnny. We've just run out of time.